one of the co-owners of Kaboba Spot. Hi, I'm Sina Smith. I'm also a co-owner of Kuboba Spot. We're both previously um, in the healthcare field. And so like during the pandemic and everything, very stressful. Uh, so we wanted to actually pursue our dreams. Her dream was to have a cafe. Mine was to have a bakery. And, and so the we felt like, well, let's just combine it. Um, and then while looking at locations, we literally stumbled upon this location and we're so, so lucky that we did because we love the community. We came up with the name Kuboba or the brand Kuboba Spot. Uh, Kubo means the Nipa Hut. When we were talking about the actual name for Kuboba Spot, uh, to me, I got the symbol of family, a symbol of love, um, eating at, you know, eating at a table, eating under, you know, um, very family style. On February 26th, Kuboba Spot hosted their second annual Filipino festival, which boasted an impressive turnout despite the rain. So we had to close down, uh, yeah, the street, mm -hmm. half of the street. Um, yeah, yeah that, it was a good turnout. We actually sold out of our empanadas and boba, so we had to close uh, an hour early. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, we are really thankful of, um, for the customers, um, you know, like the students, the professionals, the residents. Kuoba Spot doesn't plan to stop at the Filipino Festival and hope to become a home to more Berkeley communities and identities. There are a lot more um, kind of events that we want to do uh, that involves not just Filipino, but um, Mm -hmm. all different types of uh, cultures just so that they can pretty much just have a platform. To speak more on the community oriented and customer first aspect of Kuboba Spot is Mason Fan, employee. I've been here since August of last year, so 2022. Mm -hmm. How did you find out about this place in the first place to work here? Um, I have this terrible addiction with boba and, <laughs> and so I remember back in August I was just like walking around I was like oh this is new so I came here and I ended up coming here five days in a row and then I asked if they were hiring <laughs> we have a lot of regulars here um, oftentimes it's people like there's an old man who's right next door who does like uh, physical therapy kind of stuff chiropractor and so he always gets a cappuccino with half and half and there's a guy upstairs I'm pretty sure he's vegetarian his name is Paul he has like a taro order with oat milk and like a curry empanada all the time and so there's always like these regulars that come in on like a Friday or on a Saturday or only on Wednesdays. And it's really nice to just like see all these familiar faces, see them walk in and be like, okay, yeah, you want this, yeah. When asked about the importance of supporting family-owned businesses, Mason had this to add. So with family-owned businesses, you kind of understand like where the money's going towards and it's not just like money helping like a big organization you're just helping small people just grow and support themselves and i think that's a lot more beneficial to like the local community one more thing like with small businesses it does it does mean that it's like a dream it's someone's dream so it's like um what a better way to support someone than to support a small business this has been ava andrews and, and emma levy for Cal TV News' small business series. <laughs>